Well, my name is Hany Mora. I'm the creator of a software called Repurpose.io, and today we're going to talk about simple and automated ways to repurpose your content, whether it's audio, video, or both, to multiple social platforms. So you get more exposure, get more reach, and well, get your message out there, make a bigger impact. I'm going to try to cover basically a walkthrough of how to set up turning one piece of content, whether it's an audio or a video, into multiple pieces of content and automatically posting on Facebook, YouTube, and a bunch of social platforms. Everything we're talking about today doesn't change how you create content, how you edit. Everything happens right after you publish. You hit publish, it's live to the world on your podcast feed or on your you know, video channel, and then it goes out to social platforms. And we don't change anything in how you create or publish content. So how do you distribute your podcast? Well, there's a bunch of kind of like, I categorize it into three different categories. One is your podcast directories. You have Apple, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Podcasts, etc. Your podcast hosts take care of all that for you. So there's, they either help you with a submission uh, or it's submitted for you automatically. So there's nothing you need to do. Well, I'm not gonna talk about that in this presentation. That's usually covered by your podcast host. Another way is obviously your website. So if you don't have a website, you definitely need a website. It's your home base. You want to publish your episodes on your website. So that's kind of you know, what we refer to as the show notes page. So you want to have a home base. We're not going to cover that as well. We're going to cover primarily how to go beyond that. Like how do you go into other social platforms so you get discovered by people who not, don't necessarily have phones or well not have phones, who listen to podcasts on audio, who, want, who prefer to consume video, who are hanging out on, so, on Facebook, on YouTube, on Twitter, on Instagram. Discover your content and how to get them back to your home base and learn more to subscribe to your podcast or subscribe to your email list. So we're going to focus very heavily on, well, primarily on the social aspect of distribution. So, so if you're doing video, it's very similar. If you're doing any kind of video, live streaming, you want to have a copy on your website, on your blog, um, on any blog blog, WordPress, doesn't matter what platform you're using, you want to have a home base, you want to have your video content on there. Um, you obviously want to have it on social platforms as well, and that's going to be the focus of this presentation. Um, on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, so I'm going to show you how to get that on all those platforms very easily and very automated. And last but not least, if you're doing video only, why not turn it into an audio podcast? There's a whole audience that just lo loves to listen to podcasts. Myself, I love going for walks, gym, I've always got the audio, I can't sit in front of a phone and watch. 20 minute video, I'd rather listen to a 20 minute audio. So if you're doing video only, definitely consider doing audio as another platform. Um, and it could be as simple as just taking your audio from your existing video. All right, so enough talk, let's, let's show. So I'm gonna show you how using a platform that we created called repurpose.io to automate all of this. So I'm gonna start. I have about 30 minutes to kind of fly through. So I'm going to go in very high level, <coughs> excuse me, walk through how set things up with this platform. And then if we have more time, I'll go in more details. If we don't, our booth is down in the far right. I'm happy to speak with anybody, dive in deeper. Um, and I'm going to try to stay on time. All right. So first thing we want to do is I want to kind of zoom in on this picture. So we're going to focus on uh, first audio creators, you have an audio podcast, it's live on your podcast feed, what can you do with it? So I'm going to demo how to take one piece of content, an episode from your audio podcast, um, get it on to uh, YouTube and Facebook as a, as a video, automatically convert it to a video with some uh, moving dynamic waveforms so you get more engaging video. And then how to get it onto other social platforms like Instagram, Instagram TV, Twitter, in other formats that are like vertical and square. And so without having to do download and convert and create videos and et cetera. So it's all done automated for you. So I'm gonna walk through basically step by step on how to set this all up using repurpose.io. And then the second half, I'm gonna focus more on the video side. So we're gonna walk through the video flows. Uh, but I'm gonna start with, I'm assuming, well, how many people do video? Just a quick show of hands. Oh, all right, awesome. So we got almost an even split. So I'll, I'll do, I'll definitely cover audio and I'll definitely cover video as well. So what is repurpose.io? It is a platform that, uh, it's an online software that does basically the repurposing for you. So it's, it's set up to be very simple and what we call workflows. So a workflow is, just to hop back to this diagram, every arrow you see here, like going from a podcast to a video to YouTube is considered one workflow. 
And with our software, you can create unlimited workflows to do basically everything that you see on this diagram. So I'm gonna start very simple. I'm gonna start with the basics, going from audio to video to YouTube. So when you set up our software, you first thing you wanna do is add these accounts. So you wanna add your, connect your YouTube account, uh, your Twitter account, your Facebook account, Dropbox, et cetera. Um, so for this, for this part of the demo, I've already added a bunch to save some time here. So it's as simple as clicking here, choosing the platform you wanna connect and saying connect. So to add an audio podcast, I'm gonna click add connection. You can give it a name, any name you want. And then you can give it, if you know your uh, podcast feed, I'm, my test feed is on Lipson, but you can, this works with any podcast host. It's not limited. Any podcast feed that's live, it works with. So you can copy and paste your feed here. Or if you don't know your feed, you can look up your, your uh, Apple podcast URL, paste it in here, and that's it. So these, are, these connections are a one-time thing. So you connect it once, and then you start making these workflows or rules that gets your content across platforms. All right, so I connect my feed. So you can, you know, I've already done this before to save time. You can add Dropbox, Google Drive, and we're constantly adding more and more integrations as we go along. So now the fun part, we're gonna make workflows, we're gonna make rules. So I was playing around this morning, so I'm gonna start from scratch here. So first one we're gonna do is take an audio podcast, make a video, send it off to YouTube. So step one is to give it a name. So I'm just gonna, just gonna give it a podcast to YouTube, any name you want. This is, as you go along, you're gonna have so many workflows, so the, the more clear you are with the naming, the easier your life gets later on, because you're gonna get confused what to do and what. So uh, this one is going to be a podcast to YouTube. Step number two is asking you what, what, what are you trying to do? Like, what's, what are you starting with? So we're starting with an audio podcast. Um, that's my podcast that I connected earlier. Step number three is what, what action do you want to take? Well, I want to convert my audio podcast into a video. Um, there's more things you can do, which I'll show you later on as well. Um, and then you have two choices. You have the full episode or a snippet or a clip. So YouTube, I recommend doing the full episode. That's just my recommendation. So since we're going to YouTube, I'm just going to leave it as full episode. Hit next. And the last step is asking you where do you want to send it off to? I want to send it off, in this case, to YouTube. And if you have a playlist for your podcast, or you have a YouTube channel that's got videos and you want to add podcasts to it, you can create a brand new playlist uh, right here from the software or pick an existing one that you have. If you don't, you can just publish it through your main channel, it's all cool. And then you say create workflow. And that's it. So now we have this workflow. If you click the view episodes button, it's gonna take you, it's gonna show you your entire podcast show. Every single episode you publish. Uh, if you have a, if you have an image, uh, episode specific artwork, it's gonna show that as well in this thumbnail. So what we're trying to do here is you're gonna hit publish. Before I hit publish, like it's literally as simple as hitting publish and it goes off to YouTube as a video. But before I do that, I wanna show you, obviously you're probably wondering what it looks like. Right? Some people haven't seen this before. What does the video look like? So if you go into the settings, you have a few options. Um, we have six different templates down here that will let you, uh, like we pre-designed templates and they will basically, well, I'm gonna click on preview and show you what one looks like. So on YouTube, it looks something like this. Uh, you have Every episode title gets uh, placed on top. We have a dynamic uh, waveform that's generated, uh, even a progress bar as well that goes along with it. And the image, which comes either your episode-specific image or your general iTunes image, that gets automatically placed there. Everything else you see in the background, that's your, your template. This is our template. You can design your own template and upload it and brand it the way you want. So every video is going to be, it's going to have the unique title in it automatically burned in. So there's nothing, you don't have to edit titles, click, you know, upload an image. It's all handled automatically. So let's go back to here. So I'm just going to choose this template. Um, I'm going to turn on the progress bar. I think it looks pretty cool. There's a lot of customizations. I'm not going to go into every single setting, but the things that you want to pay attention to are, you know, you want to brand it the way you want, the waveform color to match your brand colors. Pick a template if you like one of ours or upload your own. There's full specs right here. If you click the specs here, it downloads it for you. And then there's a bunch of settings here. I'm not gonna cover too much. 
But if you're testing this for the first time, you might want to send this to as a private video on YouTube just to see that it looks good, you're happy with it. If you trust us and you just want to go live, that's cool too, you can leave it as public. All right, so I'm gonna hit save, and then just hit publish. So when I hit publish, it pulls in all the information from your podcast. So if you've done already the title, you've done the description, you've done uh, everything on your podcast host, whether it's Lipson, Spreaker, there's a ton out there right now. We pull all that information in, ready to go. But if you want to tweak something, you don't want to, you don't like uh, you know, the, the details here, you can tweak it right here and hit publish. So I'm going to leave it as is, hit publish, and let it do its thing. So it enters our queue in a few seconds, it will start processing, and then in a few minutes it'll be on YouTube. So what I wanted to show, what I wanted to show is this: um, once you publish one bit episode, like I've done this, what we call the manual way. This is manual publishing. Click publish the ones that you want. Once you're happy with one, you can turn on this auto button here, and you can have every single episode here added to the queue, and then within minutes, your YouTube channel is full of a bunch of videos, which is awesome. What else is cool is the next time you publish an episode, you don't have to log in to repurpose anymore. You can just do your thing, publish to your podcast, and then our software detects a new episode, boom, it's on YouTube automatically. No need to log in. So some people love the automate, like full, full automation. So you can do, um, turn that to auto. If you're not comfortable, you have someone on your team that wanna publish it on a certain day, or they like to change things around and customize it, you can leave it in manual, come in here, and click publish when you're ready for it. All right. Uh, sure. Exactly. That's a great question. So when you hit auto, there's nothing. You don't have to upload an image for every episode. You just hit auto. It uses your template and then makes a brand new, a brand new video every time for each episode. And um, one thing I want to mention is if you don't want to publish everything in the past, you can. There's some setting in here in the settings icon that says hey, you know what, starting tomorrow, publish everything. I don't want you to publish everything in the past because I, re I already have it on YouTube or I don't want it on YouTube. So you have the like, granular level control in the settings icons here. All right, so while it's doing that, I want to kind of jump and show you how to do this to Facebook. So basically, I'm going to create a second workflow that goes from podcast to Facebook and show you quickly how that works. So I make a brand new workflow. I'm going to say podcast to Facebook. There's no limit on number of workflows you can make. I'm going to do the same thing, Hanny's podcast, full episode. Now this time, I'm going to choose my Facebook account. And you can publish to a Facebook page. It shows you all your pages. So if you're an admin to a page, you're good to go. You can publish there. Um, or a group. If you have a private group or, well, private or non-private group, you can publish directly to that group as well. As long as you're an admin, You'll see that you'll see that uh, group in the list here. You pick it. Uh, I'm gonna pick my page just for the demo here, uh, and say create workflow. And that's it. And then you can customize. Oh, sorry about that. You can customize the background image. You can customize the settings. You can change it for every platform. So if you don't want it to look identical on YouTube or on Facebook, you can have a different template that looks slightly different on Facebook. Uh, slightly you know, different color, different call to action, different layout uh, for your Facebook workflow. So it's, you're not, not everything has to look exactly the same on every platform. All right, and then you hit publish and same kind of deal. I'm not gonna publish it, it's gonna look exactly the same, but you can tweak the title and description, like the post description that you see on Facebook right here, or you can go on auto. So if I jump back to workflows and once I went back to my YouTube work, so now we're back to the YouTube one that we did a few minutes ago. It's already done. It'll give you an icon. It's like it gives you a, a link to that video on YouTube. So I'm gonna hit preview, and there's our video. So literally one click. We've got a video on YouTube. We've got the progress bar. We've got the title. I, I didn't do anything. I just clicked publish, and all this information showed up. Um, your full show notes will show up down here as well in the YouTube description as well. So everything's completely hands-free. So that's, to go to YouTube, it's, it's very simple to automate. You just set it up, do one test publish, you're happy with it, uh, you're good to go. You can turn on, you're very comfortable to go on and turn on the auto feature. All right, cool, all good so far? So 
I'm going to show you how to spin up different versions of this. So we talked about, we just did a basic, you know, horizontal video, full length, perfect for YouTube and Facebook. Now I'm going to, I'm going to make a workflow that takes the same podcast episode, makes it into a vertical video, and we're going to do a snippet this time. So we're not going to do the full episode. I'm going to take, you know, a 30 second chunk and show you how that works. Um, just one note, we can't publish, everything you see in the below the gray arrows here, we can't publish directly to. We can't go to IGTV, Instagram, or LinkedIn. Um, they don't allow it, and uh, we're, we're trying to get permission. Well, I'm, I'm hoping one day we will, but right now we can't do a direct publish, so what we do is we have a Dropbox or a Google Drive that lets you, we'll send the video right to your Dropbox or Google Drive, you download it, and then you do what you want with it. So let's do this workflow. I'm gonna make a podcast turn into a vertical episode and take a 30 second chunk. So how do we do that? We go back to our workflows. I'm gonna make a brand new workflow. I'm gonna say um, podcast to Dropbox vertical. I just name it any way, any way I want. I choose podcast as my starting point. Um, I'm going to convert the audio to video, so that's, that's still the same. Now, instead of full episode, I'm going to choose snippets. I'm going to say next, and I'm going to send that to my Dropbox. All right? You can choose a folder within Dropbox, or you can just publish it to your main folder. So if you want to keep things organized, you probably want to make a folder for vertical, ver uh, folder for squared, etc. Um, I'm just going to refer to the demo. I'm going to leave it as a default. And we have our workflow. So if you view episodes, same kind of deal. Now, you may notice something here. Um, we have, well, just ignore that for a quick second. I want to get back to that. So by default, every episode does not have a publish button because what we want you to do is click the scissor icon and make your own snippet. But if you have timestamps in your show notes, the software will pick them up automatically and make the snippets for you so you don't have to go in and pick the trimmer. So what I mean by that is, uh, from, I'm using Lipson just as for my example. I just put this. I just put one colon, uh, Annie says this, two colons. So I just put that text in my, when I publish my episode. And then the software, repurposed software, picked that up and it made two snippets for me, ready to go, ready for me to publish. So that's one way to automate the snippets feature is you do all that prep up front when you publish your episode to your feed that way you don't have to go in and make the snippets. But if you don't have that, you can just click the uh, scissors icon and it will pop up with a little audio editor. The clip is gonna load up. It takes a few seconds, it's gonna load up to the screen here and then you can basically drag this slider, make it bigger, you know, like increase the length of the snippet, pick the one that you want, listen to it and then Create it. So the snippets, the title you want to give is something related to that particular clip. Like I say, a guest says something you want to say. You know, uh, Bob shares you know some repurposing tips. So you want to put that right in the title because it's going to appear in the video, and that's what's going to catch the attention of someone watching it on social. Okay. So let's just say that for example. Create the snippet, and I'm just going to hit publish. Oh, actually, I'm not going to hit publish. Before I hit publish, you want to go in your settings icon. And so by, by default, everything is set to a horizontal that like we did for YouTube. You want to change that because we're going to IGTV in this demo. I want to go to a vertical template. So we have vertical templates that look like this. So they got that title. we got the waveform. we got the artwork that shows up from your podcast feed. And then you have an option to put secondary title. It's usually you're like, a call to action or maybe um, the episode name, etc. So we're going to basically use this template right now to publish the snippet we just created. So I'm going to choose this template. Again, it's a bunch of settings here. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on them. I'm just going to hit save and hit publish. And again, when I hit publish, I can fine tune, change any of these texts that I want. This is the text that's going to appear in the top of the video and below. Hit publish and give it a few seconds and it should do its thing. So let's just enter the queue. Yeah, so we don't we we don't have a captions feature for audio. Uh, we I'm gonna demo a captions feature for video. So people who do video, 
we have we can make caption videos like from a video to a caption video which I'm gonna demo that at the end but yeah all right so it's gonna process it's gonna take a few minutes so while we're doing that I can go ahead and do the same thing for square like I don't know if I want to spend the time to do it but basically if you go back to the settings I can make a new workflow real quick that says uh, podcast of square so square is recommended, in my opinion, recommended for uh, Twitter and, and LinkedIn. Vertical, obviously, IGTV, they support non-vertical now, but I think they still favor vertical videos more. Um, so it's better to, well, it's better to have it as ideal as you can, square, vertical, and horizontal. So I'm gonna do the same thing really quick for, I'm gonna send to my Dropbox. Actually, I'm not gonna send to my Dropbox. You can send, I'm gonna step back here. You can go directly to Twitter. So we have a direct Twitter integration. So you can create these square versions and have them go to Twitter directly. So I, let me show you how to set that up. They're all very similar. Once you make one workflow, it's very simple. You, pick, you change an input, you pick an action, and you say, where do, I want, where, where do I want it to go? And then it just it just does it. So I'm going to make one, for example, to say uh, podcast to Twitter. So I'm gonna say podcast. Uh, with a Twitter, you have it's a short episode. We do we do we allow 30 seconds. We're gonna expand that to about two minutes uh, in our next update. Um, but you want to definitely pick snip, snippets, and you want to send it to your Twitter account. And you gotta make sure you go to the settings and change it to a square template. I mean, you can do horizontal. It does work on Twitter. But my personal preference is to do something like this, like a square version of your video. All right. So I'm not going to actually publish it, but it's the same kind of process. I want to give you a feel for how to set all these things up. Let's go back to our vertical video just to see that it's done. So it's done here. I click the preview icon. It takes me right to my Dropbox. And there's our clip. So we got, you know, we got our progress bar. A waveform and a progress bar to give people a feel for like how long the episode is. Um, we got our title, that you know, what the guest shared, and then we have you know, either a call to action or a title of your episode below. Yes. No, I, that's a great question. That this is the pick for this particular episode. This is my uh, guest specific image. So it pulled that image. So when I went to my Lipson account, I uploaded a thumbnail for that for that episode. I chose this thumbnail. Uh, if you don't do that, it just picks your uh, iTunes, uh, the default cover art from your iTunes feed. Yeah. All right. I've got a lot of questions. Uh, can we save them for the end or you want to ask a quick one? All right, okay. Because I want to show the video part. I want to make sure my video people uh, don't feel left out. So that I think that's all I wanted to cover for um, these workflows. So you can get creative. You can do a whole bunch of combinations of what you want. But the end game here is you want to have perfectly formatted, uh, size-wise formatted videos, vertical, horizontal, square, ideal for all the platforms. And if we, if we don't support a direct integration with a platform, you can send it to a Dropbox or a Google Drive and then go to Instagram and upload it yourself, etc. Okay, so so let's jump to our video folks. So again, I think maybe close to half people do video as well. So we we have a lot of workflows you can do with video. You can take a, a video, whether it's a live, Facebook live video, or an uploaded video from Facebook and repurpose it in a lot of cool ways. Uh, and that's what I'm gonna show you right now. So you can go from uh, video to audio. And so we can help you with that process. So that's the first one I'm going to demo right now. So it's one thing I want to note that it gets confusing. People see Facebook Live and you say, oh, how are you doing this live? We're not doing this live. Everything happens after your live stream is over. So back to repurpose. Workflows. Here we are. There we go. Okay. So... I'm gonna make a, a Facebook to podcast. So one thing with podcasts is we support 
a direct integration with Libsyn. So if you're on Libsyn, you can publish the audio directly to Libsyn as a draft or published episode. We can also do it with SoundCloud, and we're adding more hosts as we go along. But if you're not on either, that's totally cool. You can send it to your Dropbox as an MP3 file that's ready to be uploaded to any platform you want. So I'm going to choose Facebook to podcast. I'm going to start with my Facebook this time. So here you have the option of choosing video, uh, live video or regular video. I'm just going to grab a regular video for this demo. It's going super slow. Um, and then I'm going to choose it from my page. Again, you can do this from a group. You can do it from a page. And I'm going to choose it from my test page. And same kind of deal. You can do the video. Um, sorry. The default is upload video. But in, uh, in this workflow, we want to convert into an audio podcast. So you have the option to change your action. So now we're taking a video to an audio. So I'm going to choose that for this workflow. And send it. To, since I have a Lipson account, I can directly send it to Lipson. If you don't have Lipson, you can send it to your Dropbox account. And we're, we're, uh, we're working with other hosts to be able to direct publish to them as well. So just for the demo, I'm going to choose Lipson. Loading, loading, loading. Nope, oh, there's uh, an issue here. All right, what happened? Oh, I did it. I'm uh, sorry, man. I'm, I'm killing your data plan here. Uh, okay. Um, let's try that one more time and see. It's back? Okay. So, we're. So, Facebook. Page, test page, and then I convert video to audio. And send it to Lipson. Let's give it one more go. Sure. Oh, there we go. Something's happening. Okay. Cool. So, with Facebook, when you start with video, you click on View Videos. It's going to show you every single Facebook video you've ever done on your page. It's it's loading. It's loading. So every single video you've ever done on your page, um, you can when you're publishing to Libsyn, you can choose uh, in the settings. You can customize whether you want to draft or you want it live. So you can literally have a live episode. But the coolest thing we added is. Um, you can add an intro and an outro. So you don't necessarily want the video just to be rip the audio and just go, sometimes it's kind of an abrupt start or something like that. So you want it to be a little cleaner. So you can upload an intro or and or an outro to our software and we add it to every single episode before we publish it to Libsyn or to Dropbox. And you do that here, we're just uploading the file. Um, and you can do draft versus published if you're publishing uh, directly to Libsyn. And that's it. I mean, the process is the same. You can hit publish. You know, customize you know, what I want. It pulls all the information from your Facebook video. So I always recommend if you're doing video on Facebook, spend the time to like write your show notes on Facebook. So if you, you know, give it a good title, do you know, a good detailed description. We pull that in automatically into the software so that you don't have to do it twice. And once you're ready, you hit publish, and it goes off to Lipson as an audio. And then you can, uh, the next thing I want to show you is how to go to YouTube. It's very, very similar. We can make another workflow and say, send it right to YouTube and to Facebook. So uh, if you want to send it to another Facebook group, for example, or to another page, you can send it from one Facebook page to another as a video. So I'm not going to spend a minute, is it say a minute? I don't want to spend that minute on here because I'm probably running low on time. So I want to show you the cool stuff. So. The, what we added recently in the past month or so is this caption videos. So if you do a video on a Facebook page, they have the option to turn on auto-generated captions. So you can, Facebook will generate captions for free for you. You can click a button and edit them. I'll show you quickly how to do that for those who haven't seen that yet. So you just go to edit video. All right, we'll just close these up. 
So you go to your video on your Facebook page, you click edit, and there's an option called subtitles. And they have, if you haven't done it, you can auto-generate, and then you can go and clean it up. So once you do that, Repurpose will use those captions to make these style videos. Uh, you can have them in vertical or square. And the, the captions are burned right into the video, which is really cool, really engaging. People who are watching without sound on can actually consume your content. So I'll show you quickly how to do that. So assume you upload a video to Facebook, you've already turned on the caption, you've cleaned them up, you make a new workflow that says, come on. Yeah, this Wi-Fi is killing me. Look, it's saving me, but killing me. Appreciate you saving me. I hope I didn't knock it down through the whole uh, <laughs> the convention here. So we're gonna go Facebook to vertical. Facebook video page. So just a note: if you're doing this from a group, okay. if you're doing this from a group, you don't have you won't have the option to auto-generate captions on Facebook. So do it on a page. Uh, if you don't have a page, just create a te test page that's not even published. You can do that and just use it as a temporary place to generate captions for free. Um, if you have a service that generates captions for you, you can upload them to your video on Facebook. So if you have human transcription, like people who do this properly for you, you can upload the SRT file that they give you to your page or to your group, actually. But for the automated captions, it has to be uh, a Facebook page. So I'm gonna take the full video. I can do a snippet, same kind of deal. I can trim the video as well. Um, but I'm gonna just quickly put a demo, say video, full video, right to my Dropbox. And if I go to view videos, it's gonna show me all my episodes. So when I go into settings, you have the option of uploading the original video, like unmodified, like the original uh, size, or you can change it to vertical or to square. So this is where you control what the output looks like. So I'm gonna say I want vertical, uh, customize the color, the headline color, the background color, progress bar. I'm not gonna touch that, but you can play around with that. And the important thing is you can go here and turn on the captions. You can say use Facebook's captions. So we got rid them from Facebook and we burn them right into the video. So let's see what that looks like. I'm gonna save. And publish. So when you hit publish, you have the option to, just make sure this option is still set by default to actually use the Facebook captions. If you're not using captions, it's not a big deal. You don't have to use captions. If you don't want to take the time to edit the captions, you can replace the captions with a call to action, static text that we put below and you can still take advantage of creating the vertical and the square videos automatically. And just like everything else, you can go to auto and have basically these videos just show up in your Dropbox. You, do, you go live or you upload a video, you show up in your Dropbox in this format and the square format, uh, ready for you to publish to where you want to publish. All right, so while that's processing, I, oh, it's done already, that was fast. Okay, so I'm gonna hit preview to see what it looks like. So it takes me right to my Dropbox and we have a video. All right, so there we go. So we got a video, it took our horizontal video, we made it vertical, we put the title on top, put the captions, burned right in, and then added a progress bar um, automatically for you. So I think that's pretty much it, the formal part of the presentation. I'm happy to take questions now. Scott. It, we, the plan start at 12 bucks a month. And we have a plan to do all this is a $20 plan, but we have a show special uh, for 25% off. So it works at the 15 bucks a month. So it's cheaper than hiring someone on your team to do this manually. Okay. Yeah. Are the services I'm sorting that's a great question yeah you can set a default for every workflow that you create so you want the default to be 30 60 a minute two minutes 
Um, but you can also yeah, yeah. customize that. You can drag that bar to make it shorter or longer per okay. episode. Or Mine can just stay up here. You have so. full control. Right? Okay. Yeah. Uh, Hello, thank you. So I was wondering, because right now there is no way to automatically upload to Instagram um, as a story through this process, is there another way that you do that? Another tool you want to incorporate this tool with to make that happen? Um, I'll be perfectly honest. I'm not. I'm not an expert, or even close to an expert on Instagram. There are some tools like Buffer and uh, I think Meet Edgar and others that can publish to Instagram. Not Instagram TV, but Instagram itself. But my recommendation is I find publishing to IGTV is better. And the reason is because when you publish to IGTV, it's manual. You have to go to the web browser and upload it. They automatically share it to your IG feed, a like square version as well. So you're kind of getting best of both worlds. You upload to IGTV, you also get it on your Instagram feed as well. But I don't know of any tool that can publish directly to IGTV. All right. Good question here. Yeah. Um, how, do, how does this work with, you know, my host, for example, Slipson? Yeah. They already distribute to Facebook, Twitter, et cetera. Do you turn those off and turn these on, or do you do yeah. both? Or That's a great what's question. What's the strategy? I don't, yeah, you don't. It's a great question. You don't want duplicate content, especially on YouTube and Facebook. So, if you're using Lipson's Publish, um, you would. Well, you decide which one you want, but you don't want to have both right? because you're doing the same episode. Yeah, you turn the lips and one off, not being biased or anything. You turn the lips and one off and then use the repurposed one instead or vice versa, right? So you, but you don't want the same content on YouTube, like the same episode twice. One more question. You can hack it that way, yes. Okay. Yes, you could. People have done it, but we are looking now at a way to automate that for you. So right now, like this captions was designed for video, but we're gonna figure out a way to just take go from audio to caption to video in like one step. So that's a great that's a great question. Yeah, one more question. So if you're going from a Facebook Live to wherever you're going, yeah. I'm assuming you still have to have a host regardless if it's going to a podcast. Yes, yeah, we definitely recommend a host. So we have a direct integration with Lipson and SoundCloud. So we can, meaning we can upload directly to Lipson and SoundCloud. Um, but for the other hosts, we're working on it, we'll get there. But the other hosts, you can send it to your Dropbox and then we recommend you, like Podbean, for example, that you can import from Dropbox as an audio file. So you can import that directly into Podbean as an example. So yeah, you definitely need a host. I wouldn't use Dropbox as a host for your podcast. Okay. Because we don't generate podcast feeds or anything like that. We're, we're, Repurpose just helps you get the content from one platform to the other, but you need a dedicated podcast host. Okay.